our product model and now in this video i'm going to create my first route that will basically create a new product and save that product in the database basically all right so first of all let's go to our controller in products controller and let's type here first of all const product equals to require dot 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 sorry dot dot slash the models slash product and I simply type here like create new product that will go to slash api slash v1 slash product and then slash new so exports dot new product equals to and that is going to be a sync function because i have to use the await in it so a sync request response next i will simply type here First of all, I have to create uh, the new product. I have to get the data from the body, so we can get it from request dot body. So this request dot body will give us all the data that will be passed. So simply type here const product. Oops. Const product equals to await. We have to use product dot create method uh, to create this product so, so in the create function uh, type here request dot body so it will get all the data from the body and create this new product simple as that and then so we'll type here res dot um, status of 200 sorry 201 because this time product is created so I type here 201 dot json as we type here success to true and then simply type here the product that we have just created all right now i have not handled the images yet because in the case of images i want to pull out all the images from the quest.body then you have to upload these images on cloudinary then you have to uh, get all the links of those images and save those images in our product basically right now we are not handling the images i will add the Im image functionality later when we will add our cloudinary in this project right now we are just handling our other data so just focus on the other data don't focus on the images right now all right simply save it go to the product route uh, sorry product route here and first of all let's import our function that is like new that is new product and I will simply type here uh, router dot route to slash product slash new that is dot post because this time you have to post the data in the database so router dot route dot post and I simply type here new product simple as that simply save it and now we are good to go we can test it but before moving on i want to create here one more folder in the back end that is called data okay so in that data folder i'm going to create a new file that is called product.json so now in this json file i'm going to add some data of the products basically i'm going to add the array of different products as of data that we can use here that we can basically use to test our api let me copy it from my second file uh, simply copy let paste it right here you can see that this is an array of products i can explain you here this is array and this is one object first of all the name of the product then the price then the description then the ratings like 4.5 then the images and now in this images i have already provided hard-coded 
a public id and then the image obviously url if i open it you can see that here this is the image that is already uploaded you can see the url uh, resource.cloudrary.com slash shop it image is upload and the image id whatever we have here all right so it is already uploaded on the cloudrary and this is the hard coded url don't worry about it when we will add our functionality of cloudrary we will get it on the runtime so this is just hard coded to just save in the database right now the category is electronics seller is ebay stock is 50 number of reviews 32 and we have an empty array of reviews right now and this same way we have our all the other products i think so we have eight product here sorry nine product and you can see that in the last product we have multiple images like this one image two image and three images because we have multiple images all right so this is the uh, product.json file just contains some dummy data to test our api so simply if i go to my postman and i simply close it uh, create a new tab post so we type here domain oops this domain slash api slash v1 slash product slash new right and now uh, when we add our authentication only admins can create a product but right now we don't have any authentication so anyone can create that and it is absolutely fine in this case because we don't have any authentication right now suppose this one and if we go to the body row type here json and now i have to pass here the request.body data so simply go back to my vs code and copy this object from here that contains the data of this single product so copy it from here and i paste it right here and you can see that this is the same data and now if i click on send i hope that it will work so send so that's it you can see that success true so product price is this rating is this this is the id name description images you can see that this is are the images so category seller reviews and created ad if i go to my mongodb compass you can see that it is loading and now simply uh, if you have if you are using the online database you can put your cluster uh, uh, url here and click on connect but right now we are connecting the local database so i simply pass nothing here and click on connect this is a list of all databases you can see this is shop it and click on shop it this is a, this has collection of products i click on it and you can see that it has one product in it that is sand disk that we have just pushed right now so cool now we have successfully created our product here now let's save it so so type here create new product create new product and i simply save it in the products and save to the products that's it so now in my next video i'm going to create uh, the data seeder that help us to seed our data or in simple words that help us to push this products.json data which is if i can show you this one i will create a cedar file that will push all these products in the database in just one command so that we can test it we can use it uh, like wherever we want so in my next video i want to add seed